What's up, guys? MTGDC here. Uh, we got a buddy with us. Dude bro David in the house. <laughs> so today we got Throne of Eldraine, full booster box. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to split the middle packs left to right. And left is going to be my side and right is going to be David's side. All right, guys. Left. Take right. And then All right. Would you like to go first? Sure. Let's get it. Here, we'll just scooch these up a smidge further so that way we can both have a, a whole row for our card sets. Castle mm -hmm. Embrough. Yeah, I'm not sure if there are a lot of uncommons in the set that are worth something. No, not really, honestly. I guess it really depends on frame. True. Ooh. Okay, you got Oko, that's nice. some money right there. And a foil. That is cool. Nice Oko. That's a mythic. Yeah, Oko's definitely one of the money cards of this set. Right down the middle of the board here. And technically, like we're pulling from the middle of the box right now, right? Yeah. Springer. Okay. And a curious pair. Huh. <laughs> it's cool art. Yeah, those arts are pretty cool on those cards. Alright. I guess I'll move those over a little. Wish Claw Talisman. Fist Crusader.
giant killer. That's an interesting looking card. Okay. That's not bad. Mm -mm. Some of the adventure effects are actually pretty cool. Of wishes. All right. There you go. That's a couple of pennies. It's like worth a, a dollar fifty. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make your money back on every pack. Yeah. So far, I think Oko is our best pool. I think so too. Linden, the Steadfast Queen. Okay. Legendary. Well, I guess Whenever, it's... yeah, it's just a legendary rare. It's a legendary creature. Gotcha. Whenever a white creature you control attacks, you gain one life. That'd be a cool commander. Uh, definitely. For a mono white. Wait, let me stick to the center here. Thorn Halbert. Hmm. I'm getting to the last of the middle pack cards. Wonder if we'll get a fable passage in this set though. <laughs> That'd be cool. It's definitely a really good card. I like these lands. Yeah, They're actually very the interesting. Lands, honestly. Hey. <laughs> Something good for the dragon deck, I suppose. <laughs> Always find use. Especially that mountain one. Yeah. champion and we got a shine chaser hmm. no foil rares yet yeah <laughs> we got a pretty decent one so far yeah I'm not feeling too bad about <clears throat> the total yet yeah especially with that Oko pool yep now we're finally getting into our own stack so we'll see how things go Doom Foretold and Reaper of the Night. That just looks cool. Okay. Yeah, that's I like that. Good. Yeah, that's pretty good art. I'm actually good. Yeah, that's cool. Merfolk. <laughs> Wish with me, Merfolk. Wish with me. <laughs> Wish for the fabled passage. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're going to pull one. It's just a matter of who's going to get it, though. Another 
foil. Kill the got goose, goose and got the sage goose. of the falls. <laughs> hey, got the goose. Got the goose a little loose, man. Can't hate the goose. <laughs> Cannot <laughs> hate the goose. Murderous Rider. Nice. That's not too bad. Emery Lurker of the Lock. That's another pretty decent money okay. pool cord right there. Yeah. See if you can get some luck, bro. Claim contender. Gadwick yeah. the Wizen. A lot of legendary creatures in this set. Yeah, for sure. Not a bad thing. Mm -mm. No. Definitely can play Commander. <laughs> <laughs> right? A lot of options. Once upon a time, not bad, yeah, not, not bad, bad at all. Yeah. That's a decent little pull. Which is Vengeance and Crystal Slipper. So this is the Wizard of Oz, yo. <laughs> you get the Crystal Slipper all shiny. <laughs> Midnight clock. Huh. Okay. I can see them definitely pulling from a lot of different fantasy tropes for this set, uh, to be honest. Wildborn Preserver. Mermaid. Hmm. I've lost my 
foil streak. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen a foil in, in quite some time. And then I feel like you've got most of your foils already. From the center pack, honestly, I don't think I've seen any, but maybe one from that. I haven't seen well, a lot of extended art cards yet either. Yeah, like. honestly. Gotta have at least one in there, I feel like. Okay, not bad. Garbo, the of the Garen Brig. That's cool. I believe he's like a four dollar card now. It's something. <laughs> That's right. It's something. Oh, we got Garouk. Okay, nice. my first mythic, and it's a good one. Oh, that's good. And we got another fo oh, foil rare. Okay, go. we got the opportunistic dragon. That's a hell of a name. <laughs> yeah, right, right there at the right opportunity. <laughs> that's an opportunity for you, bro. All right, I'll set both of those a little to the side. That's cool. That's cool. When you least expect it, too. <laughs> Escaped to the wilds. You get a foil island. There we go. Followed by a forest. Look at that sign it builds. Wicked Wolf. All right. Okay. Hi, Ralph. First of the locked wing. All right. It's a good like three dollar pool. Heck yeah. Never complain about that. Like over half of my rares are just well, more than half of my cards that are worth something are just legendary creatures. Yeah. Yeah, magic mirror. Nice. There you go. Got another mythic. You thought there was going to be no value in that side. So. I know, right? <laughs> I didn't expect to see any mythics. So you, you got the one. I figured, I was like, wow, this is going to be a very bad box. We got three mythics, so it's not horrible. I'd say there's about an average of four. For each booster box, it varies some, but yeah. There you go. Crusher Giant and oh, now go. we're in the money. Royal Scions foil. I think that definitely makes up my side. All right, looking good now. Just had to wait to get to the bottom of the fucking box. Okay. Charming Prince. Look how charming he is. <laughs> so charming. I'm charmed by this charming prince. I don't know. Were those packs split evenly? You still got three more packs, bro. Probably not. There. We got it right now. <laughs> what if that was the one? I don't know.
This is another land. There it is. Ooh. Collecting all the lands. Honestly, like... That's really good, actually. I see myself keeping the mountain and forced ones, to be <laughs> honest. Stone Coil Serpent. Protection for multicolored. Uh, oh, enters wow. with X plus one plus one counters on it. Okay. That's it has cool. reach and trample. Dang. My dragons be like, what's that? <laughs> 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 no, I do have some dragons that aren't multicolored, so. But that's still a good card. For yeah. most cases, that's pretty decent for protection. Definitely. Let's see some use in commander, that's for sure. Hey, look, there's the hey. Dragon Boy, too. We both got an opportunistic <laughs> dragon. <laughs> Will he shine upon you on the last pack? <laughs> that is the question. This is the finale, guys. Let's all run away together. <laughs> To a pumpkin. Absolution. Festering Troll King. That's really like ridiculous. <laughs> Four green, two colorless, so it's six. His vigilance and trample seven six. Well, look at that though. Enters a battlefield. If you cast it from your hand, create three food tokens. Uh sacrifice three food tokens, re return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. So basically, you're paying for it twice, all on its once. <laughs> Pretty legit. Okay. All right. So not not too bad, honestly. Like that was still a fun box. That that was cool. A lot yeah. of a lot of decent art. Yeah, really like the art from the set. It's very nice. Yeah. Um. It'll be interesting to see the values go head to head on this one now. Yeah, I'm curious if they're gonna keep with the adventure theme since it was like with this whole like fairy tale idea going on, but I don't know. I mean, it's it's definitely an interesting mechanism. Like you 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 basically like you play it, you pay for the ability, and then it goes to exile, and then you can basically pay for this to come back out of exile and play it again, and then just do the ability whenever. They even have like counterspell versions of this, and that's like a an instant counterspell that's in game the whole time. You don't have to worry about getting it retrieved from the graveyard or anything. You can just pay for it to come back. So I mean, it's a pretty good idea, honestly. Yeah, for sure, man. So, with that being said, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to stick in with more content. Um, MTG. MTGDC here. Sorry, had a little brain fart there. Uh, thanks, guys.